This video demonstrates part three of the Envision Touch app commissioning process, connecting Envision Touch to the Wi-Fi network. The steps for connecting your mobile app to the Wi-Fi network and entering the IP address of the Envision gateway will be demonstrated here. The controls in the app will auto-configure based on the project XML file in your Envision gateway device. First, connect your mobile device to the same Wi-Fi network as your Envision Gateway and router. In this video example, we are using the Training Gen network. In your iOS or Android device, turn on Wi-Fi connection. Go to Settings and tap on Wi-Fi. Make sure that your device is connected to the network. On your iOS device, tap on Envision Touch to open the app. Tap on Edit to edit the menu page. Next, tap on New Project. Type in your project name and then enter the IP address of the Envision Gateway, which is in the host bar. Your project should now appear in the Envision Touch menu page. Tap on Done to close the edit page. Tap on your project and you will see the individual subfolders that you have created in your Envision Touch folder from Envision Project. In this example, under the Bedrooms icons, you will see the logical areas that you have dragged into your subfolder. Let's try to control the lights in the Master Bedroom. In the Master Bedroom page, you will see the presets that you have configured in EP. Default presets here are high 100%, medium 70%, low 40%, and off for all channels in the area. The mobile apps allow you to control your lights as usual from your mobile device. Scrolling down the page, you will see additional controls such as the on-off button and sliders for your logical channels. In this example, I have my bedside lamps and ceiling down lights in my master bedroom where I can switch on and dim from my device. Similarly, for the other logical areas, like the living area, I will have all of my presets displayed on the page. Here is an image of how your project will appear on an iOS tablet. On your Android device, tap on Envision Touch to open the app. Tap on the Add New Project. Type in your project name and then enter the IP address of the Envision Gateway again in the host bar. Tap Save and your project should now appear in the Envision Touch menu page. Tap on your project and you will see the individual subfolders that you have created in your Envision Touch folder from Envision Project. In this example, under the Bedrooms icons, you will see the logical areas that you have dragged into your subfolder. Let's try to control the lights in the Master Bedroom. In the Master Bedroom page, you will see the presets that you have configured in Envision Project. Default presets here are high 100%, medium 70%, low 40%, and off for all channels in the area. The mobile app allows you to control your lights as usual from your mobile device. Scrolling down the page, you will see additional controls such as the on-off button and sliders for your logical channels. Similarly, for the other logical areas like the living area, I will have all of my presets and additional controls displayed on the page. In this kitchen example, I can control my counter lights and island lights by switching them on and off and dimming with the sliders from my device. Here is an image of how your project will appear on an Android tablet. This concludes how you can control your project using Envision Touch. In the last part of the video series, part four, 
I will guide you through the project settings in Envision Touch. Thanks for watching.